Hey everyone, uh, my name's Will from uh, WH Creations and I'm addicted to YouTube. My first ever video I made was a whiskey decanter box. I crudely drew a design on the back of an envelope and because I was so excited about making my first ever video I jumped in and totally forgot exactly what I was going to be doing next. The shop was a complete mess and I had to keep manoeuvring over all my tools and all the wood that I had laying around just so I can get certain shots. At this point I'd watched so many YouTube videos that it was almost like watching a great sports person like your Ronnie O'Sullivan in snooker and it just looked so easy. The build went on and if I'm honest I messed up the final product. Don't get me wrong it still looked good and it was heartbreaking to hand it over at the end but unfortunately during the editing this happened. My first ever video was going to be marred by corrupt video footage. But did I let that get to me? To this date, that video has 4,700 views, 5 comments and 25 likes. Over the past year, I've produced 40 videos and over this time I've been able to use many different techniques. I mean, we all want to be the next Diresta, Wilkinson, Jacobson or even a Swan. But it's just not possible. These guys and ladies are just incredible at what they do. At the end of the day, you need to shoot real life footage in a real life environment with real life problems. I looked to Jimmy Dresta for inspiration, as I do a lot of the other makers on YouTube. But it just comes down to one thing. You have to be yourself. People watch your videos because they want to connect with you. That doesn't go to say that a great build and nice shiny new tools doesn't help. But overall, your audience want to see someone that they can relate to. Personally, I suffer with depression and it's something that I've highlighted in a previous video. I rise above it all and I hope that I bring across a light-hearted sense of humour to all of my videos. Now, whatever you decide to do, please make sure that you enjoy doing it. At the end of the day, I like to come into my workshop and make things. I like to show people how I make things, but to top it off, I just love showing my things off. Well, not like that anyway.